In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with two screens in DaVinci Resolve. Alright, so now you see DaVinci on the right side and you see my Google Chrome on the left side. I'm going to show you how to use both screens with DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this is after someone asked me that everything is very cluttered. How can I uh, resolve that? So I'm going to show you how. First thing that you need to do is go to workspace. And then you've got a couple of options. You've got dual screen, which you can use. You've got primary display, which you can change. And you've got video clean feed. Now this is a very great one. Let me select generic PMP monitor one. And you see that we've got a full screen of the video over here. So if I play this, I can actually see how this looks in real life rather than just looking at this little screen right here. So usually when I edit my videos, this is what I do because I've got a very clear view on everything. Another thing that you can do, let me turn that one off, is go to dual screen and hit on. And that will place a second screen on the left monitor. And that will basically show me the things like effects library, where all my videos are. It will show me my mixer, edit index, and like I said, the effects down here. And then on the right side, we've got two windows. This is the source window. This is your output window. And then this is your timeline. And these are the things that you can change. So I can change the video and I can change things with the audio right here. Now let's say you want to change some more. Go to workspace again, and let's see what else we can do. Dual screen is now on. We've got the video clean feed, which we can't use anymore, but we can select the full screen timeline under dual screen. So if we click that, you see that now we've got a full timeline over here, which is great, especially when you have several timelines going at once. And then here we have everything else. So we've got the source monitor, we've got our output, and then we've got our effects. So these are the text effects, for instance. And that can really help you work on your projects even more precisely and without all the rubbish of everything being on one screen. Let me show you the difference again. If I turn off the dual screen, now everything is here again. Everything is a lot smaller. And just imagine that you've got more timelines and you've got a lot of videos and only so much space to work with. Then this way is a great way to divide your two screens and to work with the Finch Resolve. And after you've select everything that you want to select, so let's say I'm going to use dual screen again, make that on again. And I want to make sure that my primary display is the same. We can't change the video clean feed. And let's just say I want the full screen timeline. And let's say this is how I want to work. So I want this to be my workspace every time I boot up the Finch Resolve. You can actually save that by going to layout presets, full screen edit, and then either load, update, export, delete, or you can save the layout as a preset. And then every time you go here, you can go to load preset and, and load that preset that you've just saved. And that's how you can work with two monitors in DaVinci Resolve. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. My name is Rico Richardson. Thank you for watching.